The Word Collector by Peter H. Reynolds. Dedicated to Dick Robinson, who has inspired word collectors worldwide. Read by Grandpa or his grandchildren and anyone else who would like to listen in. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cords. Some people collect comic books. And Jerome, what did he collect? Jerome collected words. Wonder. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Willow Tea Shop. Certain words jumped out at him. He collected words he read. Certain words popped off the page. Short and sweet words. Spark, bloom, drift, dream. Two-syllable words. Treasure, motif, whisper, glimmer, hover, candid. And multi-syllable words that sounded like little songs. Kaleidoscope. Guacamole, geometry, wonderful symphony. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic, vociferous, effervescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Molasses, torrential, Tyrannosaurus rex. Smudge. Bellow. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Can we read some of the words? Blissful. Timber. Potential. Jerome's collections grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy. Science. Sad. Action. Poetic. One day... While transporting them, Jerome slipped and his words went flying. Can we see words in this flying to look at? Zen, peace, psalm, beyond, applause, liberty, brilliant, electric, and many more. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Dream cloud? Infinitesimal star? Silent orchestra? Big words next to little words? Sad words next to dreamy words? Jerome began stringing words together. Whisper, symphony, electric, peace. Words he had not imagined being side by side. Savor, dreams, cascading stars. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. Let's see if we can read some of them. Vision. Infinite hugs. Waterfall, brilliance, molecule, peace, brother, love, spice, light, bungalow, bohemian, harmony, gaggle, thanks, 
onomatopoeia. That's a big word. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. He saw children in the valley below scurrying about collecting words from the breeze. As we look around the page, we can see words like hope, mahalo, blue, zeal, north, supernatural. How many more words can you find? Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. Reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. Peter Hamilton Reynolds And look, instead of the end, we see the words the beginning. your words. <laughs>